Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Medverse channel. It's Shaman and in today's video, I want to talk about how to study when you don't feel like it. And I know this is something a lot of people go through. This is something that I have went through more times than you would probably know. And I've come up with a lot of strategies to help deal with these periods where I'm just not feeling the energy or the drive to study and I just want to share them with you so let's get into it. Well, the first thing that a lot of people don't understand is that transitioning from not really being productive to creating a productive and efficient study schedule is a process. It's not something that happens just in a day. Like some people think that one day they're just standing around eating some I don't know, donuts or whatever and they just think, okay, today I'm gonna to start studying. That's not how it happens. People who think like that, they end up repeating that exact process every single day and never really getting anything done. So you need to first understand it's a process that might take a couple of months even, and it's not something that just happens in a day. But we need to start somewhere, and that's what this video is about. And this is really important because being motivated isn't something you're going to need just for today to study or just for this week or this class or even this school year. It's something you're going to need for the rest of your life. So it's really important to grasp how to create an efficient study schedule and stick to it. So the first thing you want to do is assess how exactly you're spending your day. So instead of spending that time studying, what the hell are you doing? That's the first thing you need to figure out. So you might come home after school and you might spend your time watching TV, um, hanging out at your friend's house for several hours, um, playing a game, uh, maybe just sitting around, whatever it is, you need to assess where that time exactly is going. Once you do that, you can figure out exactly where you need to cut or reduce things in order to make time for that study. At first, there's probably gonna be some big changes that need to be made. If you're watching Netflix for several hours, if you're spending several hours at your friend's home every day after school, that might not be the most productive use of your time. So try to reduce those a little bit. You don't have to cut down like drastically at first. Uh, eventually you might want to get to a point where you know you come home from school or wherever work and then you relax for maybe 20-30 minutes watching an episode and then get right into studying and then again a small break at like 7 or 8 or whatever and then study till night and that might be the end goal but at first you really just want to reduce things a little bit one step at a time so instead of spending like four hours at your friend's home try spending two hours stuff like that and once you cut down on those activities, you'll find that you'll have a lot more free time. So now that we've made the time to study, we can't make the excuse that we don't have time to study anymore. So instead, we just say we don't feel like studying. And of course, it's normal because it's daunting to get started. So the first thing you wanna do at this point is to assess where you are broadly in your class, curriculum, wherever. Realize where you are with each resource and what needs to get done in what period of time. So if you need to get through, you know, 12 chapters in a textbook, do all of these questions, and then also look at, you know, your PowerPoint notes or whatever, it might be a lot, it might be too much. You need to create a reasonable study schedule that you can stick to because if you create two daunting tasks like getting through five different resources within like a week or two weeks it's just not going to happen at first try digging into every resource just a little bit to get a feel for each one if you haven't done the practice questions here try to do a couple and as you become much more comfortable with each of the resources you're so much more likely to start actually doing them consistently so make sure you get your hands in each of the resources just a little bit and from there, I promise, it's all just downhill. Things will be automatic, it will be so much easier, and you are so much further along and ready to study here than when you were when you started back at step one or whatever. And every day, write down what you need to have done from each of these resources. And at the end of the day, you can check off each one, and if you didn't do it, then you can slap yourself at night. If you're anything like me, at this point, you're gonna realize that there's a lot that you need to do in order to keep up. And of course, this for me at least has been a really good motivator. At this point, I really, the fire lights under my ass and I get working. 
but if you still need a little more fire at this point i would advise you to get a study buddy or someone you know to keep tabs on you to make sure you're keeping up doing those daily tasks and if you're not you're going to get it from them that's about it just remember that it is a process. You might start off using some of the easier resources or you know, taking shortcuts here and there, and that's totally okay. As long as you know what needs to be done and you are studying every day, everything else will fall in place. You're gonna tailor your schedule even further. You're gonna maximize your studying and minimize the time wasting. Everything will click in place once you start rolling that ball downhill. If you're still not feeling it, some things you could try are music. Music has been a major source of motivation for me. Sometimes late at night when I'm tired, exhausted, and I just finished a long study session, I just listen to a song, and after five minutes, I'm energized 100% and ready to go for another session. It's pretty incredible. And the last thing that I need to emphasize is that a lot of people I think underestimate how important it is to eat well, sleep well, and exercise consistently. Because doing these makes you so much more ready to start that study session. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling lazy, a lot of the time it's really that you haven't been moving much, you might be laying in bed all day, you might not be eating or sleeping right, and that's really gonna take a hit when it comes to you know your consistent study schedule. Okay, well that wraps up this video. That's all the tips I have regarding this topic. These are things that have really worked for me in the past, and if you're in one of these ruts, I really hope that it helps you get out of there. There. Uh, anyways, take care and have yourselves a good one.